Hey guys, just today we're just going to talk about a simple uh, video called ray diagrams and how do we actually draw light rays. Okay, without further ado, let's go. Okay. So, uh, before we actually know how to draw, we can learn how to draw ray diagrams. Uh, we just got to get some terms right. So, uh, introduce you a couple of terms. So, the vertical line right in the center you see here with two headed arrow is known as the lens. Okay, that's a symbol for the lens. Uh, the horizontal line that actually is across the uh, the ray diagram is known as the principal axis. This principal axis is actually important because we're going to draw some of our light rays with reference to this, which we're going to talk about it later. Okay, and next, uh, you can see right here, smack in the center of the lens, known as the optical center. And for every lens, you actually have this thing called a focal point, also known as a principal focus. Okay. And one lens, if you have a principal focus on one side, it is actually symmetrical. Most lenses are symmetrical and you have the same principal focus on the other side. Okay, why is this important again? We're going to go into that later, okay? But uh, here comes the last and most important definition. you got a principal focus here, you got optical centers here, and the distance between these two is just known as your focal length, okay? So just like we have got two principal focus, we will also have two focal lengths here. All right. So now that we have all these definitions, let's go straight into how we actually draw light rays. Okay. So let's say I've got an object here. The first light ray to actually draw will be one that goes parallel from the object all the way to the lens. And after that, it will actually cut through my principal focus. Okay. So that's your first light ray. You notice my arrows here. Huh? Second light ray will be one that actually goes through my principal uh, my optical center, and anything that goes through the optical center will not bend in any way. Okay, the third one is basically opposite to the first one, which is any ray that goes through my principal focus before the lens. After the lens, it will basically just go parallel. Okay. So where do we actually where are we going with all this? Okay, basically if you were to draw the first ray like this, something that's parallel, after that cuts through principal focus, second ray cuts through principal uh cuts through the optical center without bending, and third ray cuts through principal focus, and after that parallel, you can see first and third are basically opposite. You can see they will all meet at this point here and this point is nothing more than the location of my image okay that's it okay so right now what do i have here okay what well, i have basically just a simple simulation here you got my object you got my image uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move my object closer to my lens and observe what happens right now as my object is uh, far away um you can see my image is actually smaller than the object right so as I move my object closer, see what happens. As I move it closer, my image, you can see, it starts becoming bigger and bigger and further away, right? So you can see, so it's still on the opposite side. That means the opposite, the image and the object are on opposite side. So if they are on opposite side, it's also known as a real image. That means I can actually put a screen here and I can actually capture the size of the image. Okay, I rather can capture the image. Okay, so. As I reach this point here, you see this one is this an important point because you see, oh, right now, my image, you notice anything about my image? That's right. Other than it being, um, it's growing bigger until to a point where it is the same size as my object right now. Okay. So after this point, see what happens. It will actually grow bigger. So previously it was smaller. At this point, when it's double the distance, when it is at the point where uh it is double the focal length it, the image will be the same size it will grow bigger and bigger until a particular point here you can see oh i don't see the image anymore because do you think these two lines will ever intersect no nope, because they are parallel right now right so as they become parallel what happened the image is actually at infinity so if i were to continue moving okay to the object oh I uh, move it closer to the lens. What see what happens? This becomes divergent. So the O oh, oh it doesn't intersect on the right anymore. It will intersect on the left side. So you can see oh actually my image is so big right now and it's coming in. Boom. Okay. 
In other words, right now, previously, the image was on the opposite side. Now, it's on the same side. So, what actually changed? Okay, basically, it has just now, right now, at this point here, the object, the image has become from a real image, something that can be captured on the screen, to a virtual image here, something that cannot be captured on the screen. So, an example would be a magnifying glass over here. Okay. So my image, you can see, it becomes bigger. And oh, you do you notice one other thing? From being inverted, if it's on opposite side, you'll be inverted. And if it's on the same side, it is actually upright, okay? So uh, I hope this uh, video actually explains the uh, construction drawing for light ray diagrams, okay? Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next.